in XParticle 3.5, the spin modifier has a new option for setting rotation. Let's have a look at how it works. In the scene, we have an emitter and a scale modifier set to the new set value and particles in boxes with the little stretched on the axes. Let's have a look at the spin modifier. Get modifiers, motion modifiers, choose spin. And what we want to look at is the new go to operations and we have a new option called rotate. With rotate, you can set various rotation modes. For example, face object, absolute, which will give you absolute control over the rotation, relative, face camera, which will face a specified camera or the scene camera, and face object, which is like a targeting mode. Let's have a look at how this works. With that enabled, we're going to create a null, so objects, null. I'm going to bring this over here, and let's put a cube on it so we can see it in the viewport. Get to the spin modifier and drop the null in here. Let's call this target. Let's push play. You can see our particles now face the new null and will always aim at that. So we can move this around and you can see our particles are nicely following it always getting a good aiming system happening at the new null object. Stop that. If we look at our spin object, if we look at something like face camera, push play, the particles are always going to face the camera. And that works like a sprite. And using the absolute, so you can set your predefined rotations what that does is means you don't have to use the extended data rotation for a rotation mode within the spin modifier. If you're using the operation spin, you still need to set that within the emitter.